Welcome back to this analysis of the performance of Guyanese and Caribbean students over the years 2013 to 2016. I'll be focusing especially on English and mathematics. You are aware that we are dealing with the Caribbean examinations, council examinations, the regular exams between May and June. Now let's look at the results over the period 2013 to 2016. So we see, we're looking at math and English results. The gray section of the vertical bar or column represents the score in mathematics. The orange or orange color represents English school. <laughs> so, <coughs> in 2013, the year of analysis, this was the result. Roughly 29% of the students who sat mathematics in 2013 passed. Those who sat English, around 4 to 6 percent past English. Now what's what's it like for 2014? There's been an improvement in math performance in 2014 vis-a-vis -vis the year 2013. Around 39 percent past math, around 47 percent past English. In 2015, 45 percent past math, 49 percent past English. See, there's an improvement over the years 2013, 2014, 2015. Now, what's it like for 2016? There's a decline. 38% past mathematics and 59% past English. There's an improvement in English. But a, fi a drop in the performance in mathematics. We look at these results in more detail. Now the Caribbean, amount of students who sat the Caribbean exam, 95,000 entries in 2012. And the results for math in May, June 2012, 33% passed math, 67% failed. So you see Dr. Didacus Ishu, the former CEO of the Caribbean Examinations Council, was right when he says, the public school systems in the Caribbean is in a state of crisis. Look at the results. In 2012, as far back as 2012, now this data is taken from the CSEC annual report. Note, the CSEC annual report 2012. Let's look at 2013 now. In 2013, the number of candidate entries, 90,100. May, June 2013. Source, annual report 2013. CSEC annual report. 30 past. Failed. Mathematics. 2013. Based on CSEC annual report. We are suggesting that digital interactive multimedia education would correct these problems. Solve those challenges. We look at 2014 now. 2014 for the same subject, mathematics, May June 2014. What were the results like? Failed, 50 failed, 50% 50 failed, 50% passed. Now it's 50% of 90,000. Let's say this were 100,000. It means 50,000 Caribbean students failed mathematics. That's huge. That's unacceptable. Can Guyanese candidate entries for the year 2015, 12,606 set the exam. This is based on the Ministry of Education report 2015. Let's see, past 45% passed. That's not good enough, 45% passed. 55% failed. Now, think in terms of the raw numbers. If 55% of 12,000 um, 
persons failed, that's more than 6,000, that's around seven, seven or 7,000 something, half of this, that's 6,303 roughly failed. What that means in real terms is those students would not be able to get a good paying job or would be denied opportunity of a higher level education. They failed. Failed English, essential. Failed math, rather. 2015 for English, 49% passed. 51%. That's half of this. That's 6,303. That means 6,303 students will not be able to get a good job. English, they, they, they can't communicate well. They won't be able to write well, understand, read, and understand well, and so on. So those are the consequences, some of the consequences. It's 2015. 2015 now. Well, that was a reasonably good year. In passes increased 63 percent, 27 failed. <coughs> Gender analysis, candidate entries, May June. Um, amount of females who sat the exam, we have far more females, almost twice than males, 64 percent. 36%. Public schools, 66%, 64%. That's based upon the Ministry of Education report, 2015. So these are not figures pulled out of the hat. These are figures that are based upon the official report by the Ministry of Education that were published in the national newspapers, Kaicho News, Starbuck News, and so on. Those are the hard facts. Now for 2016, the number of students who sat the exam was 12,809. Now let's see. Public schools, 8,209. Private schools, 25%. Now let's look at the score in mathematics. Guyanese entries, 12,809. 38% passed, 62% failed. In terms of raw numbers, that's a huge set of students who will not be able to get a good paying job unless they improve a performance in mathematics. So, okay, we'll stop here and we look at another video that analyzes the results even further.